Hey everybody, James Yaker with Tactical Response. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching the uh, the hog videos, the before and during. This is the after the anti swine um, So uh, this is what I use for most of it. And uh, to address the bipod falling off, that was not Accutac's fault. It was my fault. Uh, what I did, I had this rail here, and I moved it back so I could put that GoPro on the front. So uh, I didn't have enough. Uh, teeth or something i did something or hit the lever or something it wasn't the i've never had one of their bipods fall off it was i was trying to use it in a non-traditional manner if you notice i had it like turned or whatever and uh certainly not Acu, acutex fault uh but uh what, what a great bipod i used it several times uh to great effect to add insult to injury the gopro didn't work <laughs> i don't know what the fuck was wrong with it um but uh, this um they got from Big Daddy Unlimited this Mark VI, fantastic scope. I uh, wish I would have got the Eliminated Reticle. I it, I didn't, but uh, it, it's okay. Uh, and uh, now I've got uh, Mendoza Industries mount on the side with a dot. I didn't have this on the hunt, but that's going. That's getting zero probably today. Uh, but a uh, little hole of sun on the side there. Uh, but uh, but it ran uh, ran fine. The problem I had was with the 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 drum the d50 drum from magpul and the gorilla pig punisher 308 both are good products don't work together and, and uh, the bullet the the d50 is made for the military style pointed bullet these bullets are wide they're, they have a, a wider what do they call it o, o jive or whatever anyway they're wider closer to the top and stuff and uh, they were kind of sticking in the gun so it fire a shot or two and then it wouldn't and um so again that is no harm no foul on the ammo or the mag a lesson i learned now i know and uh, better to learn it uh, now than when it really matters. So that's what uh, that's what I use these hunts for is uh, practice, you know, for game time and see if my gear works, if I work, uh, and, and all that. So the the first uh, shot I make there was uh, uh, Lance's um, uh, uh, range fire only went to eight hundred, but. We were there the day before, and there's some farm implements up there, and I kind of did a quick range with them, and uh, fired a shot, hit the hog. He couldn't see it. I was on probably, I might have been all the way up on 18 power. I don't remember, but it was a 800 plus yard shot, and um, and he said, I, I said I hit it. My wife was looking through six power. She said, Yeah, she saw it, and Lance was like, I don't know if you hit it or not, and uh, and so I saw it. It was still kicking. And uh, so I put another one up there, and the it was, you, you can hear me say, quit moving, quit moving, because if you can imagine just the slightest little movement at 800 yards, it moves a crosshair like this. And uh, so the second one kicked up right, right at the, the back of the hog, poof, poof. And Lance, that's when Lance said, oh, yeah, you're good. You're in there. Your elevation is good, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and that's when I said, yeah, I know, because <laughs> I hit it the first time. I saw it through the scope, did my follow through. Boom, far enough away uh got it uh but uh that's uh that is uh 100 this awesome midwest scope uh sorry midwest rifle and this loophole scope 100 fucking awesome 100 awesome um let's see here um the winkler axe i don't have it in my hand the winkler axe i wanted to try it out and uh and i did and that's when i did the hog dance uh, with the 10 millimeter, that 10 millimeter loaded with the federal HST, uh, decisively, decisively put that hog down with that. And some of the guys are going, Oh, it's unethical, it's unethical, it's unethical. I get it, but like, if we don't ever uh, try to move this art forward, like, for instance, like the, the, the best training you can get, the best training you can get for medical is live tissue training where they anesthetize an animal like like a hog and cut it with a scalpel or do something to it shoot it or whatever and then the practitioners have to save that animal and the animal again it's, it's anesthetized this drug and uh and all that but the, but PETA won't let people do it but it's the best training you can get to 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 save somebody's life but people won't PETA won't let them do it so the problem i have is when there are hunters coming in there that that have hunted and shot animals that ran off and bled to death. <clears throat> Want to talk to me about be, being unethical? Listen, that that animal, I put it right down. One shot, put it right down. I went to finish it off. 
I thought this is a good opportunity for me to use the axe. I tried to use it a couple of times. The animal wasn't cooperating, and I put it down. If you put a stopwatch on it, like compare my final shot, my coup de gras to yours before you call me unethical. Because if you're so fat, you can't track down the deer you shot and you just let it go, or it gets dark and you just let it go, uh, and you can't chase the blood trail because you haven't taken a tracking class and you just let it go, don't talk to me about ethical hunting, okay? I, I, I don't want to hear it. The, 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 it's, it's, it's bullshit. And, and I'm out there to do something that's, that's bigger than a, a pest. A pe it's a pest, okay? Um, so uh, I shot 308, 300 blackout, and uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, the 308, the Pig Punisher in both calibers, Rebecca, there's a clip on there. I wasn't filming because I was helping Rebecca, but Rebecca popped that pig uh, 90 yards, 100 yards, uh, with uh, 300 blackout, and you know decisively. And uh, and uh, so I know that some of you guys that aren't into hunting, um, this is a good example for you guys. The difference between lethality and incapacitation. So um, so Rebecca shot that hog that boom that that that, that split. And, and I did something like that too. Boom, that, that hawk shot it and split. That that was a lethal wound, but it did not incapacit incapacitate the pig. The pig I shot when did the did the hog dance with, that incapacitated that hog. Like it could not it could not move any further. It could not continue its assault, for instance. And so there's a difference between lethality and incapacitation. And uh, and so the uh, the uh, uh, pig punisher rounds. Uh, were absolutely lethal and very well, uh, um, very good at incapacitating the pigs. Um, you, 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 like you saw, the, the pigs that, that I got good shots on, which were most of them, not all of them, good good center through the shoulder kind of a hit or right behind the shoulder kind of a hit, they, they fell where they stood. They fell. And uh and that is a that is a testament to, to good bullet design and good delivery of energy, uh, and terminal effect, and uh, et cetera, et cetera. But um, but the three hundred and the three hundred uh, three hundred eight did well. I'm going to tell you this: um, I don't recommend hunting pigs with a two twenty three five five six. I I don't recommend that. I, I think it takes a thirty caliber round to to put these things to be ethical to put these things down decisively, and um, that's that's my thoughts it takes it takes a 30 caliber bullet and um we shot some hogs probably further than we should have been trying to shoot them with the 300 blackout but got some near 200 yards with the 300 blackout and uh luckily that bullet's moving really fast and it worked out really well um the 10 millimeter uh shooting the uh, federal hst put the hog down no problem and um and uh, you know, I, I gave it a follow-up shot just to make sure it didn't suffer any longer than it needed to, and I gave it a third one just to make sure, uh, because I don't want to see an animal suffer, even a pest, even a rodent, e even an intrusive animal that's destroying hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of of land and crops. I, don't, I still don't want to see it suffer. Um, and then. Uh, the, this trip was to get Rebecca hunting. She shot the one hog is all she shot. She enjoyed it immensely. And now she is looking for her next hunt. So we're going to work more. He's, he's motivated her more to get, get better shooting scope through scopes. And cause she's great with a red dot, but these hogs were all further than that. And then she wants to use night vision. Cause me and Lance went to, went and shot at some with night vision on and uh, so she wants to kind of get in that stuff but all this is good training using all your gear and all that stuff it's is it's a good training it's good training um so that's all the questions i saw or comments i saw on the uh on the uh the, the video number two and so i hope i've uh, kind of answered kind of all the lingering things there or at least made my opinion known on it but uh yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. If you got anything else, let me know. I'd be glad to try to answer all those questions for you. And uh, you should uh, you should find, you should go on a hog hunt. And there's plenty of places like in Florida and Texas that they just want them shot. Like you don't have to pay to go. Uh, but if you've never been before, find somebody that has been to take you and kind of help you. It'll it'll, it'll really really uh, shorten the learning curve for you. This is James Jacob for Tactical Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends.